Hello again everybody and welcome back to the Noob with the Brush channel. I am the host Jay and we are still the biggest unknown channel when it comes to AOS and Blood Bowl content. So thank you very much guys. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. We are the red headed stepchild of AOS and we love it. I have grabbed my cup of tea and I'm ready to start the show. So let's crack on with it. Right then guys, um, an article went up on Warhammer Community yesterday detailing how to set up a Flesh Eater Court Grand Court. And it grabbed me because it's of interest because it was to do with the Gristle Gore Grand Court, which if you listen to my last um, video for Flesh Eater Courts, that was the one that took an, I took an interest to because it's all about the monster mash. So if you like me and that's the type of thing you like, uh, be with me. I'm going to go through it and we're going to break it down. So you will see afterwards if it does still interest you. If not, you can move on to something else. But I didn't want to get this out last night. One, because I was painting the channel's corner on me. But two, it's because I wanted to sit and stew on it for a bit because I didn't want to like react to it straight away, like some channels. I wanted to see what I thought of it, see if I could see it as a competitive build, or was it, is it a, just a fun one? Is it one that you're going to see a lot of or not? And from what I can see, Gristle Gore, it's not going to be one that's going to be in tournaments. It's going to be the fun one at your local club or when you got your mates over for the beer and pretzel night or if I'm there it's tough tea and pretzels because uh, I do love my tea as I've told you in the past so we're not going to see this change any type of meta I don't think and if it does we're not going to see it for a couple of months because it's going to take a while for people to build look at and you know, get all au fait with their army to say. So it's gonna it's gonna be a couple of months. I reckon. I reckon we're gonna have about four months of people testing it before we see it anywhere. And if I'm wrong, I will hold my hands up. But I'll come back to this at a later date. People in my comment section, you can like save this bit where I'm gonna have to uh, apologize in a couple of months, a couple of weeks. But I think this is gonna be a middle tier army. And, like I said, it's going to be a while until we see that. And if you like to keep a, abreast of tournament information, there is the website Honest Wargamer that will keep you up to date with this information. I'm more about having fun. That's kind of why I like Blood Bowl as well, because even though there is a competitive season with that as well, that's another fun one. But I don't want to get sidetracked. Let's get on with it. So, Crystal Gore, Monster Mash Army. What's the benefits of having a monster army? Well, by having this one, the Grand Host allows you to have Royal Zombie Dragons and Royal Terror Geists as a battle line. So, not only in your Behemoth section, they're in your battle line. So, we got two slots filled and because you've chosen crystal gore you get little buffs to your combat you also get extra command abilities but the one that i kind of liked is considering how in my last video i said about the channel throne stopping command points being used this this gives you extra so you put them out, you get your extra command command point, and you've got your command abilities, and you've got stratagems. So let's have a look at a couple of them. Right guys, I hope you can read these up on the screen. Please let me know if you can't. I just assumed that you could. 
Right, we got. As an extra rule, PLS ferocity. If the unmodified hit roll for an attack made by the Gristlego hero or Gristlego monster is 6, that attack inflicts 2 hits on the target instead of 1. Make a wound roll and save roll for each hit. So, it's not a massive buff. It's not game changing because it's going to come up often. It's only going to come up in certain scenarios. It's probably come up in a lot of memorable scenarios because this is when probably you'll roll those extra sixes when you need it. But saying all that, it makes it fun because if you were playing a monster army, you want you want to be able to deal it out. If you if you were doing a monster army and you've not got a lot of attacks, it doesn't just doesn't feel right because I know it's like if you want to feel an army of monsters you want it you want it to feel a scary army don't you and if you've got cannibal monsters coming out you want it to definitely be scary but it's a fun little rule like I said this is not going to be meta breaking but it's fun right then guys now we've got a a command ability it's called call to war I'm gonna read it out you can read along with me up on the screen it you can use this command ability in the combat phase if a friendly gristle go hero or monster that has not fought in the phase is slain and is wholly within 12 inches of a friendly gristle go hero or wholly within 18 inches of your gristle go hero that is a general if you do so before that model is removed from play, it can make a pile-in move and then attack with all melee weapons that it's armed with. You cannot pick the same unit to benefit from this ability more than once per phase. So, that is a nice little... That's a nice little command ability, I think. That When I saw that, it shocked me because it's like, you know, when a model is slain, if your opponent has played well enough to put you in a position where you were outclassed and outnumbered and your army, well, your unit has laid waste to a big monster or to a unit, right, that's it, that's, you just don't, you don't get to play in our phase, you know, you, you, it's, it's just end of sports for that for that model or unit but with this ability if you can use that command ability, ability that you were given as a you know a free command ability just for calling it a gristle go army you can use it by you for you know ensuring that your model attacks and yeah it's piled in and it attacks with all its with all its attacks but don't forget it's a gristle go army and remember PLS ferocity that was a hit that we just mentioned you roll a couple of sixes there you get an extra attack so say you you got six you got six attacks and you managed you managed to roll two sixes you've got eight attacks go on eight attacks on a, on a unit that didn't think that they were going to get attacked back that thought that they played the game of chess well and taking out the uh, taking out the unit so, yeah, that that that's that's a nice little buff. That's granted. You've got to keep heroes moving, but if you if you can get this to happen, it's yeah. That's that's a really good command ability because say you keep your arch regent near the channel throne. And you wanted him to have a bodyguard. Well, you know if you use that command ability, eighteen inches away, it's stopping big heavy hitters coming in to get him. On top of being able to summon units itself, so I I just I, well, it's an amazing it's an amazing ability. Like guys, I know I've alluded to it a couple of times, but you get an extra command ability just for getting to crystal go. I say it's free because. To me, if you were doing this as a 2,000 point army, like how they've described it in uh, the community article, um, I would be taking a battalion and like 
for the Gristle Gold Battalion and I believe they called it the Royal Menagerie Battalion. That's where you get it because that's another way of getting your big monsters, your command ability and any extra benefits of that type of play will give you. So, like we've described it so far, you've got a good command ability and you've got a good setup for a monster army because you've given yourself Royal Terror Geist and Royal Zombie Dragons. So, from what I can make out on the battalion was you needed the four. So you needed two two Terror Geist, two Zombie Dragons and it's that's your battle line and your behemoth which fulfilled a criteria I won't know until I get the book for that extra command point so the joys of doing that as well is with this, com this battalion uh, you're going to get extra abilities that will complement your monsters it'll complement trying to make them be fear to be able to get into get into fight where you could co do the call to arms and like you know possibly if you're outnumbered you still decimate them because you know if you use command ability uh, command point they're still going to attack which i which I, I think is amazing but like i say there's extra buffs to it so let's have a look at one now right guys we've got the monstrous ensemble it sounds like i'm trying to do french ensemble monstrous ensemble right so that i'm just going to say track here it is a battalion rule so let's see what uh, benefits we get for this in your hero phase you can heal up to d3 wounds allocated to each model from this battalion that is within five inches of any other models in the same battalion so it's not even a hero it's not even um a, like you know a fast uh, a fast unit like in knights it's not even it's not it's not even like a wizard it's any other model from that battalion which I know I said this isn't going to be meta changing. I'm starting to starting to change my opinion, and I I'm recording this, and I like la when I was opening this up, and I'm going to put this, you know, into audio. No, this is your fun list, but it, it this could be competitive. It's you know if like I said, if you've got these models, they're big, massive models, so you could spread them out five inches from each other. You're covering the width, I would say, the majority of the width of the board. Just keep them, you know, just keep them down to five, and if you need to, just pull them in a little bit. You can, because we don't know what else is in this. It could, it might just be two terror guys, two zombie dragons, or it could be two terror guys, two zombie dragons, and a, a Vargo of court here. So, if he's flying around the place, so uh, you know, go going into gaps you're healing the models d3 yeah granted you would have moments where it's one one uh, heal, bit of healing two vacation three but you've just made a tough zombie dragon or terror guys a little bit more tougher that means he's going to be hanging around a lot more and especially if say you're unfortunate and they got slain you use your command ability that we talked about pull it back in attack it's still a lot of work to take out this army it's <clears throat> well, i don't know i'm getting excited because there's a lot of you know synchronicity with the fleshy to court that i don't feel was there originally when they done the first draft, it was like a bare bones law attempt, I would say, more than just a battalion. But now they've come back and done it again, ready for Sigma 2.0. They fleshed it out more, pun intended, 
and they've just made it just a special a special little army now it? it's it's amazing right then guys to recap now we've picked our grand court which was Gristlegore we have chosen our battalion we've chosen our behemoth and our, our battle line we've looked at all the well I say all that is known for command abilities and you know special rules so far like I said I haven't got the battle tome I can't tell you any more different I am learning about this the same as you guys but no army is valid without any heroes so um, I covered it in the weekend video part one was flesh eater courts part two was skaven but in part one I said about the arch regent being not only is he a little fighty as a HQ which we all need because nobody likes a soft target he has got abilities which he can either call uh, crypt flayers courtiers or crypt ghouls because and then if you put a channel throne into the battlefield those command those command abilities don't cost points he's doing it for free so if you stack this up in the middle of the board you've got your battle line just in front uh, just behind there so first round or two you still get you you get buffs and you also get you get buffs from reckless ferocity i believe it was but you also you get in your battalion buffs you're also getting extra units on the board to swarm the battlefield because no offense we know crit ghouls are fast and with the the new abilities a new command point uh, command point uh, abilities they've um you're able to like double the hits so if you've got massive 30 30 man units you're throwing out massive amounts of damage and then you can pile them into another unit like i said it's a very synchronized army it's it's poetry in motion by the look of it don't think i'll ever be able to play it because i well i was well po well i say if i say this is poetry in motion i'm more like um i don't know a whale trying to play the piano it's just never gonna happen right it's just it's bonkers but if you check him out and you check your ghoul kings perhaps you can throw your ghoul king out and he's going around the board because then you throw in crypt you you throw in your crypt ghouls out at certain points of the army they're not just being thrown out from the middle it's there's a lot that you can just add and make it your own but it's not losing any character and it's not underpowering itself it's it's I, well, I don't know how to put it into words because I just want to say it's amazing and I say amazing so much it may as well be the channel catchphrase it's a very powerful tool that every HQ has got if you couldn't sew up the, the gaps in the yeah, you know, it's that's that's amazing, and we all know crypt goals are good for, you know, grabbing objectives because there's going to be a lot of them, so you can slow down the enemy if they got out, grab an objective, and you can use your terror guys and your zombie dragons to whittle them down so they're not as many. But my impression already. And that's just by this one army and like i said this is probably going to be the underpowered one because this seems a monster this seems a fun one and most monster mash armies are not as powerful as what they could be but this is still an amazing thing to see it's if this is one of the worst i hate to see what the best ones look like and it's 
I well, I wasn't interested before reading this article in getting Flare Sheet to course because I've still got my Legion and Nagash to build. But this makes you drawn into going, well, perhaps I could pick up a unit here, or pick up a unit there. Because they, like, don't, they, the, some of them are older models, don't get me wrong, but they're still a nice looking army, and if they painted right, they pop, and you've got not only a good looking army, you've got a hard hitting army. It's, it's something for everybody by the by the look of it, and I haven't gone over artifacts. I haven't gone over you know other abilities that this army's got. This is just just one little bit. Just seems amazing, and it's just you want you're just drawn out to wanting to see what else is in that book. So yeah, when that gets dropped, I I can't wait to get it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the show. Thank you for bearing with me while I rambled on about this army. I hope you've got something out of it, rather than just someone shouting amazing for 20 minutes. Like I said, it's just a fantastic army. It's It seems to have got your fast-paced unit, it's got your hard hitters, and you could just buff everyone to make it specialized as well as extremely dangerous so i think this is going to be a battle tone that has something for everybody so let me know down below are you interested in this has reading this article got you more interested are you still not interested let me know because that's what the comment section is there for uh, please uh, comment like and subscribe like I always say if you are subscribed and you know people that would enjoy this content that are not subscribed please share this with them because I want to see the community grow on the channel so we can talk about upcoming topics and this is going to be my uh, well it's not not my favorite part of the show this is the bit that I always do, which I call the shilling, electric boogaloo. So, as you know, we've got a PayPal account for the channel. I'm not going to promote the Patreon, even though we got Patreon. I'm not going to promote it because my honest opinion, without getting off topic, is I can't see Patreon lasting much longer than this year the way they go in. So, I'm leaving it up just in case, but without going too off topic and this channel is not about politics or any news like that is Patreon are so far up their ass that they can't see that they just passing money from you guys to the creator and think they do it the creator service by taking 10% of what you guys want to donate so we already seen that, you know, there's been an exodus from Patreon, but like I said, I can't see it lasting much longer. If you guys want to sign up on there, it's, that's up to you. But we've also got a PayPal account, so it's up to you. If you want a T-shirt or a hoodie or a cup, because we all know I like my cups. We've got Teespring account, so go over there and kit yourself out. We've even got painting t-shirts, so you could put that on. So when I start the Streamlabs thing going up again, we can have our we can have our paint nights together. We've um I'm trying to think, I've got a Red Bubble account as well, but that's more like me messing about with forty k memes. If that's something you're interested in, go and have a look. Um, I'm trying to think, Patreon, PayPal, Teesprings, and yeah, um, thank you again for listening to the video. Like I said, pass pass me around like a keys in a bowl party. 
to your friends and we can grow the channel so we can have more people chatting i know i've said this already but i just want to emphasize it but yeah without you guys this channel isn't isn't here basically because i want this to be a community topics uh channel where we can discuss upcoming previews we can have a little look at hqs like possibly if people were interested we could do like possible army creation lists and see what people's ideas are but i don't want it to just be my opinion i want it to be everybody's opinion so yeah guys get interactive click subscribe don't worry about clicking the bell because i know you guys have got to build yourself up to listen to a welsh accent um uh, because my accent isn't amazing but uh yeah and um, thank you for bearing with me i shall see you again real soon and have a pleasant day